Pastor Josephine, and God bless every one of you. Amen. Amen. I'll just make a little correction. I'm part of the executives of my year group, of every girls, yes. But I really, yeah, play a very supportive role for the old students. Thank you so much. Amen. Amen. Let's close our eyes. I'm a frafoye ni chefa Waye ye la himali ya sofo I'm a ye le jo Ya bo kona Shira ka Niti Eni anu misi I'm a frafoye
And that's how come when you are even among your friends at work and they start speaking all their pornographic thoughts, when they start breaking it out, dirty things, and you are sitting there or you walk in, they are going to say, hey, hey, so for my neighbor, hey, my pastor, I know you are hired to me, can we? I hope you understand. Yeah. Yes, because they see you as a different person. And so the writer of First John was saying, Three things that bothers people. So in these two days, we are going to look at what a weakness in the spirit brings. And then we will look at what God really wants us to have. The ideal situation. I hope we get it. So one, it says that the desires of the flesh. That is the lust of the flesh. Uh, my bugas, Last of the flesh, Eloe. The kind of things that this thing, eh? This the, the biggest organ we have in our bodies is the skin, the flesh. The kind of things that the desire, the kind of desire that this flesh can do to you is one, last of the flesh. Two, is the last of the of the eyes. And then three is what? God bless you, we read it together. The last of the flesh, the last of the eye, and then the pride of life. So these are the things we'll briefly talk about um, tonight, and then we'll continue God willing on Sunday. Amen. Amen. So these are the three temptations of sin. What is the last of the flesh? The last of the flesh is that temptation, you know, to feel physical pleasure from some sinful activity. So you do something to make the flesh feel satisfied. And this one, if I ask you to list, I know it will be easy. Can I get some? Can I get somebody to preach with me? Come again. Oh. <laughs> Sexual sins. Last of the flesh, what we do with our own bodies. Sexual sins. That is immoral lifestyle. You know, sexual immorality. Gossip. Physical violence. The use of drugs. Like what? Cocaine, alcohol, pills, you know. All these things are part of the things we do in the flesh. We are succumbing to the power of the flesh. And when we go to Galatians 5, 19 to 21, we read about how these things are made manifest. The works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, madness, drunkenness. So many. Lust of the flesh. Lust of the flesh. Let me just go into it and tell you a bit about what happened with these things in the Bible. If you remember Eve, do you remember Eve in the Garden of Eden? Yes. When the tempter came, when the devil came, when the snake came, the Bible says, and when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, that's what takes us to the eye. And the tree to be desired to make one wise, pride of life. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, the flesh began to do what? Speak to her. Oh, it's just once. Why don't you just do it? Oh, sir, may I go to church? Oh. Haven't you heard of Royal Christian Center? Hey, oh my dear, you said you want this job. I mean, just one, two. Just once. Oh, 
Jones. There's a woman who lives down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's the wife of. What does the husband say? Go and call her for me. I want to have a meeting. A meeting. That's how they behave. The boss is in the office. They need to be out. He went out and locked the door. Go get it. And I'm sure when they give with Bathsheba. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Madam. <laughs> the end you all know, don't you? Yeah. Uh, to the end. And that is how it ended. But look at the pain David went through. Because of the last of the So the last of the eyes, it is that temptation to look upon things we shouldn't look upon, or to have things that we shouldn't have. In other words, it is to cast our eyes upon something with desire or pleasure, even though God has told us not to look upon those things. And if you are married and you are in the room with your wife and you feel like enjoying her, and you tell her, Charlie, tonight, dear, I'm all yours. So. That exposure is decent before God. Amen. Amen. Before husband and wife, even that one, angels clap for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> angels clap for you for good performance. Why? This is church yes. And here we talk about everything in the Bible. Yes. And I don't want you to behave as if you are the angels. <laughs> I want you to behave as people who are flesh and blood. Yes. Let's be practical. If you are doing it in marriage, I said what? Angels clap for you. Yeah, because you work with your angels. So they step back and they see your performance and they still want to be there. Offer. Offer. It's all part of it. Amen. Amen. And the last of the eyes. Adia Enyabutia. Memfa. What I was trying to say was it is not everything that we call bad. As in marriage. Amen. Amen. What is rightfully yours, you can have. And I get back to ask the ladies again. Hey, what are they here, Papa? Matty, the auto over here. Now you say, oh, I have here 20 Ghana. We have here five years. So I start Hey, have you seen Samira Baum yesterday? I want to show the same thing. The style she used for the inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> you are not budgeted for it. Too. Your savings, your investment, that you have something better to do with. Last of the eye. Then you go and withdraw. Sometimes you even go and borrow it. Just to purchase. I mean, things that are beyond us. I have come to 
to learn one thing. That a time will come, God will bless you. You will look back at your life, how you mess yourself up and say, do you understand me? Yes. Don't buy things you don't need. Impulse buying. Change your food where you come, Papa. And now, come on, come on, let's have a call. Go to my head. I, I, I can borrow some money and buy it. You see, next week, Royal Lady is that program. The Sunday, they are watching. And you get to the there's not even guarantee. The blessings of the Lord make it rich. Yes, we soul. Don't go borrowing so that you can go as sorrow. Let's take it easy. One day, men will take their husbands through hell. For what? For no problem. Yeah, you can't talk. Yeah, you can't talk. Yeah, what is it? What is it about food now? The pet, they don't know if it was meant to be practical Christians. My husband doesn't have it. We are living within our means. If the Lord blesses us, we use our money for better things. Amen. Amen. Lust of the eyes. Lust of the flesh. That is what French John 2 is telling us. We must sit up as believers. These things we do will not take us to heaven. It is rather taking us to hell. There will be a Vanessa. As you pray, the Lord will bless you. He will increase you. Okay. Let's look at pride of life. Pride of life. Let me read to you what it is. The pride of life is that sinful temptation for excess greatness or power that we all feel the temptation to attain. Pride itself is one of the sins that God hates most. It is the sin that made Lucifer, the 